Hey everyone, it's Esther Perez. I'm really excited to have this video that tells you all about our first 24 hours in our downtown condo. It's a video slash vlog, so in here you'll get some real time items and you'll get some delayed items like right now with this intro. I was just way too excited to get to, you know, started on furnishing this place. We literally got the keys on Tuesday and started furnishing it on Wednesday. So our first stop here was a spot called Round Hill Furniture Store. And it's in Hilliard, Ohio, I believe, which is one of the suburbs of Columbus. And it had so much stuff inside of it. Definitely go check it out. We picked up two chairs that were, I want to say like 90 bucks for the two of them. And online it was like over $100. So I thought it was a good grab. Definitely go check them out. All right. So here's the warehouse. And we're testing out the chairs. <laughs> And so far it's comfy. Um, oh, hold up. <laughs> all right, that last video was cut abruptly because we have a new gimbal. We're figuring it out. So, um, yeah, we're at the warehouse. Did you get me trying out the chair? Uh -uh. Oh, no. <laughs> this is just what we're trying out. Right now the dilemma is counter height versus bar height. And, yeah. I said I was going to make a full video of the condo and getting the condo. Um, today we're furnishing it and just trying to yeah, figure out what it's going to look like. So just making all these videos to keep you all, um, yeah, in the loop. Okay. We got a new gimbal and I'm testing it out in case you see the camera's a little shaky. I'll try to stabilize it in editing, but no promises. <laughs> so walking around the big warehouse. Super excited to furnish this condo and live out my interior design dreams. <laughs> yeah, lots of stuff. Oh, this is good. This, um, I mean, you're not, this isn't for the condo, but just like every house always has this. <laughs> That's for when you want to like pull someone out of their chair. <laughs> oh wow, that is. Yeah, like that length. We're at Big Lots now. <laughs> Still looking for stuff. I'm trying to get cleaning supplies so we can clean it up. It smells good. <laughs> it smells like tropical. It smells, smells kind of like mangoes. Okay, still here shopping at Big Lots. We're trying to just get a lot of the essentials out of the way. Um, like I said, we got the new condo and just trying to stock it up. You want to go around the corner? Really excited for this condo, but I think uh, you just never really realize how much stuff is needed in it until you start shopping for everything. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, we need one for the kitchen area and then that'd be it, right? Just, but... You want to get the kitchen one from here? You want to order one? I say we just get a simple one from here. I don't think we need like the automatic one, like what we have at home, right? No. Because I don't want to have to keep replacing the batteries. Look at this one. I'm not sure if we need a full car now or not. Okay, yeah, let's not take anything then. If we're not sure it's going to fit in the car. Unless you want to get something. Well, actually, no, that'd probably get this dirty. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh yeah, we do need one of those. This is an organizer. Yeah, but they do sell silver on that side. You want to buy the organizer, honey? You know what I mean? No, this is a regular. This is this is a regular organizer, not for silver. Oh okay. Okay, maybe we'll hop on the other side. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're getting to it.
Oh yeah. So the plan is to do eventually midterm rentals. So that's why we literally bought it and just started to fill it up and try to make it livable. Okay, so we didn't pick up everything we needed, but we picked up a good amount. We're not gonna have room in the car to get much more. I have to make a whole nother video for us actually finishing up the process because right now it's looking slow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're pulling up. We're very excited to have some stuff. We have to unload the car. It's like fully, fully packed. Your destination is yeah. on the right. I'll wait here with the emergency lights, right? <laughs> you got too excited. Okay, so cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why the flash turned on. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so he's unloading the car and I'm trying to just sit in it. Make sure we don't get um, towed or anything because we're literally in downtown Columbus and we don't have like a U-Haul truck or anything. We're just in our car unloading things. I just feel like I have so much to tell you all about this recent update and I'm just like doing so much stuff and I feel like I can't like fully explain to you everything that's happened. But so to start off with, um, my dog died <laughs> in January. I am still very sad about it. It's been really tough um, dealing with that, but it's just like an odd thing to experience, like something or someone dying around, like close to you and realizing that the world around you just doesn't stop. And so it was strange because we were looking at other properties on like a Friday and then on like Saturday night, she got sick and on Sunday she was sick and then we had to put her down. So like it happened so fast and like I said, bittersweet. Um, we put her down that Sunday in January and then like we kept looking at places and um, going back and forth with the, um, like the housing contract and whatnot. So yeah, it's been just really crazy but we're happy to have finally closed. All right, do you want something back? Let me unlock the car. Yeah, you're good to go. I unlocked it. Yeah, isn't that the neighbors? Oh, yeah? Are yeah. they nice? The dogs are like, like the teacup. Like, they're super small, like the size of Laura. Oh, he sounded really small when we, he barked at us. Two of them. That's awesome. He said, attack dog. No. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to meet them. <laughs> okay, so he just got done. Um, that's what my man looks like. <laughs> okay, so what else? Um, okay, so yeah, we went back and forth. Um, I think I don't need to make a video talking about the entire process of getting a condo on, or like a property unless you all want to hear about it. Like, you know, looking at the place, um, what it appraises for, things like that. Um, the comps in the area, real estate agent. I might make a video, maybe later on in life, but not right now. But it's just a lengthy process. Um, we've done it before, obviously, with our home that we're in now. And I think going through that one time, like, it really taught us so much. Uh, and we were so much better prepared for this time. Plus, I had our real estate agent this time was a friend of mine. And I think having that, like, relationship that's very casual and laid back was really nice because I think she was looping us into a lot of things I don't think um like you would just regularly have with a real estate agent that like isn't someone that you like know as a friend right um let's see so we got the place it um it is the place is a one bedroom it's got like a small like room in it in the back that's like a closet that like I feel like could be could be it's like 
like a small room but we're not it's not like considered a room it's got one bathroom it's um super cute spot oh no a bus just pulled up hopefully i don't get in trouble for being parked here um but yeah so right now is our first day full day of having the keys yesterday we got the keys and so Dion's coming back so i'm just gonna unlock it for him anyways always keep your doors locked <laughs> i'm very big on that he's cleaning out his <laughs> trunk right now he was too funny um okay so where was i so today's the first full day that we have the keys um we are going to be just like stocking it up like i said we want this to be like a midterm rental and for us it's super important to be able to really make the space welcoming um so that we are able to get it rented out and make some passive income Overall, this has been such a goal of ours. I think for me, I if you look at my channel, obviously I love traveling and I think having this passive income is like a route to do more of the traveling. So I'm very excited about that. The building itself is super cute. I definitely am probably gonna put more videos about what it looks like. Um, such a cute little area, very like antique looking. It used to be an old bank. It's called the Citizens Downtown. I do think it's like it's a really wonderful building it's a historic building so definitely check it out I mean it has a bar in the basement of it or not the basement it has a bar in like the first floor of it um called Citizens Trust uh bar I believe something like that so check it out seriously the building is so cute itself and then yeah residential areas are obviously in the top floors um but yeah super nice I'm really happy that we have a place downtown because I have missed living downtown even though we won't necessarily be living in it. It'll be nice to just have the spot that we can visit if we want when we're in between renters. Okay, well, Dion is coming back. Um, yeah. Okay, we took a small break after unloading the stuff so we can eat. Alright, so this place was called Sidebar in downtown Columbus. It was super good. I definitely will go be going back. I absolutely loved the fried plantains. I thought all of the food was super good, but the fried plantains, I'm just such a fan when I get those on the menu. So that was our first 24 hours with the keys to the downtown condo. We spent a lot of time trying to buy items for it trying to figure out how we were gonna furnish it. We definitely tried to just hit the ground running when it came to getting this condo because like I said, we really want to rent it out and get started on making some money off of it and just get it ready to be used. So it's definitely a lot of work, but we're both really happy that we were able to go through this process and get such a really beautiful condo. I'll be showing you all a tour here soon of the condo. Mind you, it's still a little empty, so I might need to do another tour later on once we get it fully furnished. But in the meantime, this is how we're spending our time, just furnishing it up and getting it ready. The two chairs that we got from Round Hill Furniture were just super amazing. Dion was able to install them. Like, super quick. I don't think he had any problems getting it together. Okay. <laughs> it works. I'm so happy that the chairs worked out. Like I said, we got them for like 99 bucks for the two chairs. The condo is definitely coming together slowly, and I'll be posting updates regularly so you can just see how it's coming along and how we're getting it furnished. All right, well, thanks for watching.